Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about a product that we use very often in stroller repair. And it is this rust eater. It says rust eater because I'm in Scandinavia. And I'm going to apply this to a number of different uh, metal surfaces that have rust on them to show you the effects. What I like about this uh, product, and a lot of people recommended other products to me, is that it is essentially a paste that you can put on stuff. And a lot of rust eating products are liquid, and then you have to have a lot of it if you have a large thing you need to remove rust from, and you have to put it inside some kind of pail. And in this case, it's a paste, so you can stick it over a surface. And I use this all the time in relation to my repairs. So this is sort of a uh, chromey sort of metal. I think it has some kind of chrome plating over, and some of the rust has damaged that uh, chrome lacquer that's over it. You'll see that afterwards a little bit, that there's damage, but the rust will be removed. This was also a bit chrome-esque, uh, and it also has a heavy degree of rust. This is uh, probably stainless steel, as is the screw. And this, I believe, is also steel, and it has black paint over it. Um, and we're going to apply the rust eater to all these, and you can see uh, how it works with different sorts of metals. And it will have um, better or less better effect, uh, depending on where you apply it. When I'm using this on vintage strollers, for example, I'll just talk as I apply it. You just want to kind of take it and spread it over the surface generously. But uh, when I use vintage strollers, as I was saying, uh, you want to be a little bit careful because um, with some sorts of like older chrome effects, you can wind up with a uh, white fogging over the metal. And you might want to use it anyway if your stroller is very rusty, but then you want to remove it quickly, for one thing. Um, they say to leave it on for 10 minutes. With things that are very heavily rusted, I tend to leave it on longer because I know it's not going to look like shiny metal anyway afterwards. But uh, with stuff that is has just kind of a surface rust, you want to follow that 10 minute rule and then remove it. Okay, I'm putting this all over this, these pieces. This is a spring, so a better way of doing this would have been if the spring was still on the stroller. Then you could extend the spring and then apply it and then retract the spring and you would get the rust eater inside all of the cracks. But this is just a piece at this point, so I won't worry about that. One of the cool things about this product is they say that in addition to removing surface rust, that it prevents any further rust from occurring where you have applied it. And its uh, intended purpose is cars, and they say it's not even necessary to remove it, like if you're putting it under a car or something. There we go. Okay, this one. This is the uh, front fork for a mountain buggy. I'm gonna apply it to the bottoms where the paint tends to crack and the rust appears. You do definitely want to wear gloves when you're doing this. It is an acid that has been dissolved into this uh, paste. So it's not like it's going to burn your hands right away, but it's not a particularly pleasant thing to have on your body. I'm going to hit all these places where the paint has split, showing the rust through. Well, that's just a pl this is a plastic piece, I'm not going to worry about it. And then we'll do a bit on this top, so you can see how the effect will be with like a very rusted bit of what is most likely iron. Okay, as all these pieces were relatively rusty, I'm gonna leave it for about half an hour. If I were doing this part on a stroller, this chrome, I would only use 10 minutes. But in this case, I'm going to use half an hour. And then I'm gonna show you all of the parts again afterwards and how effective the rust eater was. Okay, it's been about half an hour and I'm gonna remove now the rust eater so you can see. 
you can start with this chrome piece you can see that uh, the brown the reddish brown is gone and there's just this like black that's where the rust was a bit too deep so you want to use like um, tissue paper something dry this stuff reacts to water so you want to remove it all uh, afterwards especially if you're using like uh, this product on metal elements that are attached to plastic elements if you get rust eater on the plastic elements afterwards you'll get like a white caulking effect you can remove this with a sponge and water and soap afterwards but make sure to remove all the rust eater first and then you might want to wait a while too and it's a little bit hard but it does go away um, okay So as you can see, all of the reddish brown rust is removed and it's gotten that uh, kind of clean, chromey look again. The black areas are where the rust hit too deep and damaged the chrome lacquer. Uh, so this product is for surface rust and it, it, even though it will treat the under rust a bit and prevent it from spreading, it won't remove it in relation to how the metal looks, but it's still a much better effect than it was. Next, we're gonna look at this piece. This was also had a bit of a chrome effect, but had much worse rust on it. So again, the reddish brown is removed. Here is a little bit of brown, but it has been treated. Uh, you can always try to go a second round, but you're not gonna get this to be silver looking again. Uh, this, the best it'll get is this sort of blackish look. But uh, the rust cannot spread, at least from this point, and it uh, does look better. Okay, I'm gonna move on to this uh, stainless steel spring. Let's see how it looks. This again would have been better if I had um, done this while the spring was on the stroller so that I could pull the spring apart and really properly get into the grooves. There you go. This white is what I mean by the caulking. Uh, you'll get this a bit more on plastic pieces, plastic elements that are around any metal you're doing this on, but it happens here as well. You can remove it uh, a bit with some uh, water and soap after a while, but uh, leave it for a bit so that whatever residue of rust eater is there can fully dry. And most likely it'll still have some caulking effect afterwards with this sort of a metal. That's going to be the same with this screw because the screw was not that shiny to begin with. And it was more just the solid steel iron sort of metal. But again, you'll see that the reddish brown mostly removed all of the surface rust and it uh, would be usable again. Here, I think I just didn't apply it enough. You could go a second round there. Okay, we're gonna move on to the last thing and that was this uh, mountain buggy front fork. Get some more tissue paper. I don't know, you might have to back up the video, but uh, this thing was completely covered in reddish brown rust. Especially down here at the front. And now you can see that that has been treated and removed. And in some cases, you can actually see through all the way to a silvery metal. It'll be more apparent on these areas here where uh, the paint had scraped away and it was rusty underneath. Now it's just metal. If you wanted to, you could respray this piece black. Something that I sometimes do when I'm uh, overhauling a mountain buggy stroller. And then at the top where there was iron, you won't get this to a uh, metal look again too much, but it will treat all the rust. And look, it's, it's almost entirely black now, which is the rust that has uh, had, I guess, some sort of oxidizing or anti-oxidizing effect with the rust eater. 
So that's the product and that's how it works. If you're working on like a um, uh, Chrome Emelunga Classic chassis, you'll notice a much more amazing effect. And I believe we have some videos, older videos, showing that. Um, but that's the product and that's how you use it. And I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future.